Hey everyone, so today we're going to be reacting to a trending video about Demi Lovato. So about a week ago, apparently she got into a fight with a frozen yogurt shop. What, let's just see what's going on. Oh, she shaved her head. She had a bus cut. Okay, so. Maybe this is it. Actually. I'll hold it. So, I have kind of gotten in the middle of something with this yogurt shop called The Big Chill in Century City. Now, I am very. Can we talk about the stuff that celebrities get into fights with? Like, why? I wish I had, like, no problems in the world where I can just get into a fight with a yogurt shop. Like, how bored is she? Outspoken about the things that I believe in. I understand that sometimes my messaging can lose, uh, lose its, like, meaning when I get emotional, right? I am human. I... And somebody who is just very passionate about what I believe in. And it's yogurt. I've lived through enough to know when to speak up for people who don't have a voice. It's yogurt. When I messaged this Froyo place, um, like originally, I wanted to make a point and I wanted to call out behaviors or, or branding things that I didn't that didn't sit right with me because the truth of the matter is as someone that deals with an eating disorder like is in recovery from an eating disorder I still to this day have a hard time walking into a froyo shop ordering yogurt and being content with it and keeping it down I know that seems like not a huge deal to a lot of people but for it's me, yogurt it's, so by the time I got to the counter after seeing so much diet stuff and health food stuff, like. I feel like I know where this is going and I feel like she's about to complain about the yogurt only having healthy stuff in there. She's so out of touch with reality, it's crazy. I, it wasn't clear to me that it was for specific health needs. And so I didn't know, I didn't know that like i just took it as okay i'm going into a froyo shop i'm seeing sugar free i'm seeing this and that if i if there was a sign that said celiac vegan i would have understood that would have been clear messaging to me i feel like what she's saying right now is i don't even know what she's saying right now <laughs> like demi i'm sorry it's just because it wasn't clear i'm definitely jumped to conclusions and probably shouldn't have you know, gone about this the way that I have, but I'm willing to talk to this Froyo shop to help get the messaging right. Another thing that a lot of people don't know, I guess it's something that must be an LA thing. A lot of people who have struggled with anorexia, um, I myself, like, Froyo was something that I would go to because it was low in calorie and it just felt safe to me. I know that people struggle with Froyo, with eating disorders. So that's why I'm super sensitive when I walk into a Froyo place and I see diet stuff. Like, I'm going to be protective. I'm protective of a little girl inside It's of yogurt. Me that didn't get that representation at a young age of someone saying, all of this diet stuff is not okay. You're worth more than that. I also am standing up for just anyone who struggles in LA. Like this is a, this, you know, the whole country. They, it, this is a hard thing to live with on a daily basis. The thing about overcoming my addictions, my my drug addictions, was it's, because it's yogurt. I it's really don't have yogurt. To, I can walk away from that and never touch it again for the rest of my life. Like. I don't ever have to do that, but I have to eat three times a day. This is something that will live so does everyone. with me for the rest of my life. I left that yogurt store and didn't get the yogurt that I wanted. And then I had a hard time. 
You can't be serious right now. Demi, people are dying every single day in the world. You're complaining about yogurt? It's yogurt! People are literally being murdered every single day. You're complaining about leaving the store and didn't get the yogurt you wanted. How much time is left in this video? We have four minutes. Let's, let's just cram through this. I'm She's gonna have a hard time the rest of the weekend to be totally transparent. And that's probably something that nobody wants me to say. Like I'm, I don't know, but I'm human and I talk about my struggles and I'm passionate. So I'm sorry that I got the messaging wrong. I'm sorry that I may have disappointed some people, but I'm not coming after a small business as someone with a lot of followers. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm coming, I'm, I walked into a situation that didn't sit right with me. My intuition said, speak up about this. So I did. And I feel good about that. What I don't feel good about is some of the way that it's been interpreted and how the message has gotten misconstrued over all of it. I will do whatever I can to work with this Froyo shop if they want to, to help align the messaging to where I feel safe going in there and I can eat the Froyo that I went in there for. I will work with them on that. That is something I'm dedicated to do because I want to make LA and this whole country is safer and this whole is safer. What is she gonna do? What, how is she making anything safer by coming for a Froyo shop? What, what's, the, what's the yogurt gonna do to us? The yogurt's gonna murder us. The yogurt's gonna bomb LA. So she's trying to call out the yogurt shop. Is that what the yogurt shop's gonna do? I don't think the yogurt shop's gonna kill us, right? So how is she put in any way protecting LA with whatever she's doing because she didn't leave the shop with the failure that she wanted? She needs therapy. She needs therapy. This is the type of stuff you tell your therapist. You tell your therapist, I left the failure shop and didn't get the ice cream I wanted. That's what you tell your therapist. You tell your therapist, I'm upset because the failure shop didn't have um, non-vegan ice cream. Um... I don't know how to feel right now. Like I think I think I should be upset because I feel like we have all of this going on and Demi's focused on yogurt. Okay. Safer environment. People with eating disorders disorders should be able to go in and feel safe wherever they go to eat. It's yogurt. That's all I'm asking. Literally all I'm asking. So I'm so sorry if it got misconstrued. Um I just, I don't always get this right. I speak my mind, I'm opinionated, and then sometimes I get labeled as problematic. It's not because- See, that's why people are labeling you as problematic. Make an entire video about a Froyo shop who probably literally does not even care about you. I'm looking out to, everything that I'm doing is well-intentioned. You have to understand, it's just, Look, you can get, someone once told me, you can be a celebrity and get it right every day of your life. But you get it wrong one day and that's what people focus on. And that's what people are focusing on today and that's okay. Because it's tomorrow, I'm still gonna live my truth. And I'm still going- It's yogurt. It's yogurt. It's yogurt. 2,000 years later. It's frozen yogurt. I get it. It's her favorite frozen yogurt shop, so she's upset that they have vegan yogurt. No, I don't get it. I was lying. Still going to get up and meditate and do what I need to do to stay centered. I just want to help continue to make this world a better place. And if it upsets some people, I'm so sorry. And I will listen and try to understand and how I can better be of support to Maybe all don't come for a frozen yogurt Not shop. With eating disorders, but of all communities and and yeah, I think I'm rambling. Um, you are. Anyways, I just wanted to get that message across. It's really important that everyone hears that my intentions were not to come in. She's and so boring. Bully a small business. That was not it. I walked in, was so triggered that I left without Froyo, and it made me really sad. And that's just that's all it was. And I wanted to talk about that. So if we can make this environment safer for everyone including people come in and bully a small business that was not it i walked in was so triggered that i left without froyo she's a joke this is a joke 
Oh my god. And it made me really, really sad. And that's just, that's all it was. And I wanted to talk about that. So if we can make this environment safer for everyone. It's yogurt. Oh my. From an eating disorder. Oh my god. And just want a little froyo. If we can do that while also giving froyo to vegans and, and people with diabetes, let's go. Let's do it. It just has to be clear. And, um, and I'm willing to talk about that. I'm willing to put effort into making, um, making it clear on how we... You need to put effort into the bigger problems on earth right now. How dare they sell how vegan dare yogurt? They? How dare they not have unhealthy yogurt? What the heck? This makes me, this makes me feel so unsafe right now. I'm so uncomfortable. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. So I'm, I walk out with no yogurt. No yogurt. I walked out this time. I walked out. I saw that they had only vegan and diet yogurt, and I was like, oh, no. I walked out, I was so triggered, and I left without my favorite yogurt. Do you see how I sound right now? I sound dumb, right? Okay. How we can do that. Um, I don't know, I'm genuinely like, I'm genuinely sorry that people took it the wrong way. I just get really passionate. And y'all know me, I'm pretty feisty and so- Are you serious? <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm just really, really passionate about Yogurt. I'm so passionate. I walk out so triggered <laughs> because of yogurt. <laughs> but I will go home and I will meditate. Ah. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke. They didn't have, they, didn't, they only had healthy and vegan yogurt. Oh no. I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm triggered. I was so triggered. I was so angry. I had to leave. I'm talking crap. I'm about to go on this <laughs> yogurt shop. They're trying to make people healthy. Oh my gosh. And okay. my emotions get the best of me. It's never coming out of a place of hate, it's always coming out of a place of love. <laughs> this is a joke. And trying to lift people up. So, um, I understand that didn't lift the Froyo place up, um, but I was upset and that's, that's all that was. So, I'm gonna hang up now. You guys are awesome, thanks for checking in. <laughs> Being a celebrity is exhausting sometimes. So today, I'm gonna like. You make it exhausting. I'm so exhausted that I couldn't get the frozen yogurt I wanted. So I'm gonna go and meditate. I'm gonna go, me I'm gonna go meditate to center myself. Oh. I'm gonna go center. Oh. Center my. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. She literally. Oh my gosh. Being a celebrity is exhausting sometimes. Well, maybe because you decide to go go off on a frozen yogurt shop who did nothing to you. All they did was do their job. And you're upset that they... This is a joke. Like, Demi. I get off my phone, I shoot my podcast, go to work, do whatever I need to do, and you won't be hearing from me today because I need a mental health day. I need a mental health day. I need a mental health day because I went off on a some mob with you. And this is, this is not even coming from people with mental health. It's just like, girl. For what? Like, for why? Like, like she. <laughs> <laughs> they decided if it was healthy, she wouldn't buy it. And they were right. They were right. Because, 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 because she walked out triggered. She was triggered. <laughs> she had to go meditate and center herself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go meditate and center myself because they don't want to give me unhealthy frozen yogurt. Um. Um. I need. Um. A, I need a mental health day. So you won't be. I'm so triggered about not having unhealthy. No, I literally I walked in there and I was triggered because. I didn't see, I saw vegan, I saw diet, and that's okay, it's okay. But it's like, it makes me uncomfortable when I have to walk in there, and I feel like to make the world a better place in LA for everyone, I feel like that they shouldn't just sell vegan and diet yogurt, you know? Because like, because like I want unhealthy yogurt.
You should have had a giant sign <laughs> saying no one will be over. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh my god, let's see. There's like 40 seconds left. Let's see. Peace. Love you. Mean it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you end this? Like, oh, the X. Okay. How do you end this? Thing? How do you end this, girl? Please. How do you? Peace. How do you end this thing? <laughs> How do you? Oh, there we go.